Northern Exposure Mania continues this month on Cleveland Live Music. A lot of energy around the series since it started streaming on Amazon. This report from CBS This Morning aired on April 27th, 92, and has interviews with all the cast members. It was part of a whole week of reports. There's one more i got to dig out. Three of them are already up on my YouTube channel, compiled into one video. And I'll link that at the end of this one. 11 minutes before the hour, our entertainment reporter Steve Kometko took a trip to Sicily, Alaska, and he's here with the pictures and his special behind-the-scenes look at Northern Exposure. How was it? It was very interesting. Figuratively speaking, we went to Sicily. That's where the show is set. But literally speaking, we went to Redmond, Washington, where the series is shot. We figured there's got to be a reason why this CBS show, which is part offbeat drama and part quirky comedy, has become so beloved by audiences and critics so quickly. We figured it's either something in the water or something about the way the people there view their work. You're not fit to clean the dirt under his claw. Sorry. Jesse's twice the man you are, and he's a bear. A visit to the set of Northern Exposure exposed more than the pioneer spirit that fuels the show. You sense the cast shares a kindred spirit with their characters, that the inner lives of the actors intertwine with their alter egos. So much so that you're never quite sure where the interview leaves off and the role playing begins. You gave your word. And I intend to hold you to that word within the bounds of the law. And if necessary, without the bounds of the law. Hey, I don't know who you think you're talking to, Minifield, but I am not some putz just off the caribou farm. I'm from New York City. No! I gotta know, what is that animal behind your head? That's musk ox. I shot it myself. Oh, did you really? Uh -huh. It shares yeah. some characteristics with the buffalo. Where yeah. did you shoot this animal? Uh, Nova Scotia, I believe it was. <laughs> Back in 1928. <laughs> you were, what, three? Uh, well, I, I wasn't around, but I <laughs> did it in the previous life. Two people can only talk so much, then what? They, there's got to be more. Something to do after you're done talking. You understand? I love you, Shelly. So what if you are 40 years younger than me? Everybody thinks they know Holly. I'm not unusual to them. I'm very avuncular kind of f figure for a lot of people and very sexy. I, I think I'm more sexy to the older ladies than I am to the younger ladies. <laughs> but uh, I give a lot of hope to virile old fellas. <laughs> <laughs> but just for the record, what, what exactly just happened? Well, I, I, I guess I was hitting on you. Y you were coming on to me and, and, and then I stopped you. Well, yes. Maybe. It's funny, Maggie becomes this entity. She really becomes a reality to me at times. But what we share... Our quest for a man. <laughs> <laughs> Any takers? I don't know. I'm working on it. <laughs> you are. On screen and off? Yes. You want to go further with that? No. <laughs> Turner sounds mysteriously elusive, but I remembered seeing her recently at the Golden Globe Awards, escorted by Northern Exposure's John Corbett. When I broached the subject with him... you got to warn me before you mention Janine Turner. You why? know, my heart will start fluttering. You know, what's one of the sexiest women in the world you know? You can't just say her name around me without a little preparation. <laughs> I have to hold on. Maybe I should do that again. Janine Turner. Oh, man, there you go. Now I was a little ready. <laughs> She's sexy, isn't she? Mm-hmm. I feel the same way about Corbett. I really do. I just love him. I just love him. <laughs> And as for the on-screen combustion between Joel and Maggie, Entertainment Weekly has noted that when it finally does happen, they could have the most torrid clinches TV has ever seen. It certainly could. It <laughs> certainly could. I'm just glad somebody is. <laughs> Good. I hope so. Tomorrow at this same time, we'll find out what sparks the May-December romance between Holling, the restaurant owner, and Shelley. 
is Waitress. That gets pretty hot from time to time. This show has a big future. It does it? have a very big future. You know what? At first, they weren't certain uh, how it was going to play out. They were on hiatus for a while. They were, I think, a, a mid-season replacement. Then they went on hiatus. Then they came back. The time period was shifted. Now it has built a following. And uh, recently, CBS gave it a renewal for three years, which is almost unprecedented in primetime television. You know, you get maybe a 13-week renewal, maybe a year renewal, but three years is really something CBS is committed to this show. Before we let you go, mm -hmm. how spectacular was the scenery there? It's really very funny. Uh, it's shot in an industrial park, which the, we'll see later in the week, okay. most of what we see. Uh, and the crew recently took a trip to Alaska to do research and bring back some stuff to make the show look more authentic. But it, in and around the Seattle area where the show is actually shot uh, and in Roslyn, it's beautiful. Just spectacular. You'll see some of it as the week progresses. Good. Thanks for popping by. Nice to see you in person nice for to once. Be here. You look great. Five minutes before the hour, we'll be right back. Thanks for watching Cleveland Live Music. It's awfully bright out here. I'd click on another one of my videos. Quit looking into the sun. Your mother told you not to do that. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel more, there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Ooh. Ooh!